problem. Guys, we have a problem. Number one, I think Vogu is about to take over the world. Holy sheesh! Hunter, thank you so much uh, for the ton of gifted sub. Tuesday Night Poker. A little bit of twos without. Sorry for the scuff production. At the beginning of that, we play the Ducks on pretty much every single time we start the stream as of late. What's up, guys? My name's The Schiller. Uh, we talk NFTs pretty much every single day. And, uh, I mean, w what's a bigger NFT right now than the Vogu? Right? We're not talking about Vogue. We're not talking about any kind of shenanigans. We're talking about Vogu. Something that can be revolutionary in the NFT scene just from the sake of look how many damn people are in this chat right now. Holy sheesh! Gotta love it. Uh, guys, your savior, your legend, your hero, Traxy, sir, how are we doing this afternoon? Good. What is up? We're vibing. Dude, there, there's like this army. I feel like you kind of know this, but there is like an army behind Vogu. Do you, are you aware of this army behind you right now? They're my Centurions, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely the, uh, the Miltech crowd, I think. Well, I love it. I love it. So, guys, we've had Traxi on before, and if you happen to watch the stream, we talked a little bit about Vogu, but for the chance that anyone's tuning in right now that doesn't know about this NFT collection, Traxi, can you give a little bit of insight about what the Vogu is? Yeah, so it's, um, at its core, it's the project that everyone's used to, um, 7,777, you know, randomly generated robots that we call TARS or tether assisted robotic skeleton our project is aiming and our goals are to be a large scale ip and cross media so you think print you think film you think merch we plan to kind of expand our science fiction universe into different avenues and it's going to be a lot of fun I, I love the way these look. They feel like they're so, so different here. Uh, but we did have somebody that brings or brought up the fact that they don't see like a roadmap or anything on the site. So can you talk about kind of what the idea for the future of Vogu is going to be and what it's going to include? Yeah. So and, and um, I'll touch on roadmaps a little bit. Um, you probably won't ever see a traditional roadmap from us. Um, most roadmaps that come out in the space right now are you know, after 25% sold, after 50% sold, and it's all things that you just would do normally as a project, and they just kind of put a percentage time, you know, we'll do it after 10% sold. And 90% of these projects sell out in a day. So their entire roadmap is done after one day. And our roadmap is really just getting started after the sale. It's, it's started two months ago. Um, so our plans are to continuously bring kind of value to the brand and to the IP, which will and then, you know, hopefully will excite anyone who collects the Vogu PFP project, these tokens. Um, we have plans to do, you know, merch partnerships. There's some really, really fun ideas for how we can get involved in music. Because if you look at Coway, uh, the record ear, there's some really, really cool stuff that we can do with that. Um, and then, you know, me and Jason have a film background. So you're thinking animations and um, CGI and film and, and graphic novels and comics. I mean, there's a million things to do, but I won't ever put them on a roadmap. I'm looking at this like a business plan, uh, less so than a, a roadmap. And so I have personal goals that I'm trying to deliver with the IP. Um, but until I know that it's coming, you guys probably won't hear too much about it. I'll tease it, but I'll never kind of like hype everyone up if I'm not going to be able to deliver. Well, I tried to get you to leak all the good stuff the other day, and you were like, ah, nah, not today. So, <laughs> well, guys, don't worry. We've tried, not for lack of trying, but I don't know how far we're going to get. And you, you talked a little bit about merch there, and I don't know, like, how long in that process you're thinking about it. But do you think that it's going to be more, like, merch that are based off of people's individual one? Or do you think that they're, you're going to have kind of, we're looking at uh, one of the pieces here, and it's, I think, the Kuwait. Uh, like, is it going to be kind of like that style of stuff that you see uh, the Vogus wearing? Or is it going to be more, like, kind of, like, showing the character? Characters itself on some of this merch. Yeah, no, it, it'll be more like brands that exist, like the the or Kuwe, and then someone who can speak Chinese. Please correct me because I'm going to be saying that a lot, and I'm probably butchering it. And there's someone out there that can speak, um, you know, Mandarin or something that's just laughing at how bad I'm pronouncing it. <laughs> but um, I, I would I would say it's more like that. Uh, we're trying to find a partner 
um, that understands kind of that kind of hype beast style and finding a way to get our, our label out to where it's not just in front of the NFT crowd. It's out in front of people that are into fashion you know, really branching out that IP. Well, okay, so speaking of kind of like the Vogue collectively as a whole, I think you guys are wanting to really focus on the lore aspect and really, you know, develop uh, this entire story and develop it into a metaverse. And to be honest, it feels like there's multiple different NFTs out there that are wanting to kind of do that same thing. But when people see the Vogu and Big Big, huge shout out for the five gifted. You're an absolute gem. Thank you so much, sir. Um, With the Vogu... It, it instantly catches your eye. It's instantly something different. How do you perceive that you are going to be seen differently compared to a lot of other NFTs out there right now? No, and that's a really, really good point. And I, I think we're getting to the point in the space where um, you should. If, if a project isn't looking to get bigger and isn't looking to expand from just an NFT project, they're not doing it correctly. And they may not be here in five years. So I think you know, we should reward the projects that are looking at it like that. Um, and I hope that I'm not the only one that does it differently. Like, I hope other people go out there and make cartoons and, and make other forms of media. Like, I think that's going to be awesome for the space. We need that to happen. Um, so all I can say is that I hope to differentiate myself by actually delivering. I think there's going to be projects that actually deliver and I hope to be one of them. And then there's going to be projects that say, like, in 20 years, we may come out with a Game Boy Color game. And it just never happens. Um, so I just hope that I'm one of the ones that can can actually deliver on on the promises. Dude, I, I love the fact of how different every single one of them looks. So so as we're kind of, like, developing some of these different looks, is there any hidden ones in here? And sorry for anyone that was tuned into the stream when I asked this the other day. But are there any hidden ones that you're like, okay, that's a triple-double bang or banger? And you're like, okay, that's definitely going to catch some eyes that we haven't seen <laughs> from some of these leaks yet. Uh, let me see. So, yes and no. Um, there's some really, really cool ones that we aren't going to show. Like, there's definitely some some uh, triple double banger traits that I'm keeping very, very close to the to my chest. Um, I think that that's kind of the the fun of it. Like opening a Top Shot pack and hoping you get the LeBron every time. Um, but it's like that's that's what I'm hoping to kind of bring with this. Is I don't want to show everything because then everyone knows exactly what to expect i want it to be that kind of christmas morning um where you don't know like what you're gonna get and when you get something even then you're surprised um so that's kind of what i'm holding out you know holding that out for and for everyone in the chat right now, if you want them to check out uh, the chat and the poll, we got a poll going. How many Vogus are you planning to get? Uh, one, two to four, five to seven, eight plus. Or do you think that you're going to skip out on the Vogu uh, drop that happens? And for you guys, uh, I mean, like, there, there's a lot of people saying, oh, we're going to do airdrops and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and obviously, you're not throwing out, like, this huge roadmap or anything. Are airdrops mm -hmm. something that's on your radar or something that's going to kind of be discussed, like, after the drop happens? Uh... So, yeah, so um, pretty, I already, well, I mean, we can leak it here. Um, I won't go in, into it because I love you so much, Jill. Um, we, I already have the first airdrop. I'm ready. It's, I, yo, I just have to yo, finalize. Yo, trip, how yo, just, leaks, leaks in the chat right now. <laughs> leaks in the chat. So, oh my God. Yeah, we're doing it right. Like, don't, don't, like, we're, we're going to do the, the right thing, right? So we have a, a small thing that we're going to give to everyone. It'll kind of be that claim plus gas or however we can get it. Uh, I just, I, I haven't finalized exactly how that distribution works. Um, so that's just, it's a, it's a partnership thing. And I have to develop that a little bit further on a business side of things, but it's ready. The asset that we have created is ready. Um, but there's, but that's just one of a million things. To me, those are the easy things. Those are the things that you can, you can build and develop before your launch and have it ready. Um, but the reason that I'm not going to put it in a roadmap is because I don't know if it's going to be ready next week or in two weeks. And until I know when that's going to happen, um, I won't say it, right? Totally fair, totally fair. So let's talk a little bit for anyone that doesn't know uh, about the project. Addition size, what's the cost going to be? Some basic details. Yeah, so it's um, 7,777 uh, total. The cost is 0 0.077. Um, and then like the max transaction per 
order will be 17. So we had a little thing with sevens. <laughs> Okay, well, what, what, give us the story behind the sevens. Is that your favorite number? Do you think that just kind of like works with the storyline, the lore and all that kind of jazz? Or No, I actually hate it's my unlucky number. If I gamble and a seven is anywhere, I'm not I'm losing all my money. So it's not a, it's not a great number for me. Um, but personally, but what we did was we had some really, really early adopters um who helped us you look you see the council there are people that kind of supported jason um and myself in kind of helping us like hey you guys should do this get started we believe in you um you know kind of friends and family type people that that supported us and we asked them because they're positive members in in the nft community all over the place so we asked we asked them and said hey we did a poll what, what do you guys want what do you guys think the mint should be what should the number be what should the price be it's up on our Medium, if anyone likes to read Medium articles, it is up there um, for transparency purposes. And essentially what we heard was, you know, we want the mint less than 10,000. 10,000 is too much. Let's, let's look at having some scarcity. Let's do it a little bit less. And then price-wise, they thought that the 0.8s, the 0.1s might be too high. But obviously, if we lower the total mint, the price has to be a little towards the higher end. So everyone just felt really, really comfortable with like the 7,000s, the 0.07s. Um, and then everyone just started to play with that. And the community really liked the 7,000 set and just kind of abusing how many sevens we used. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, and I gotta say, and I'm curious for anyone in the chat, uh... Integ, you're saying that like you love the record player. I, I kind of like it too. I think this is one of the sleekest ones. Uh, but Traxy, uh, for the drop, is this going to be something that's on OpenSea or directly from the website? Can you give some details regarding that? Yeah. So, and we'll drop more information as we get it up to. I'm, I'm hoping to have like a screenshot or a video of the of the mint page so everyone can see what they're getting into. Um, but it will be a mint. You'll go to our website and you'll be able to mint from our website directly. Uh, we're going to use MetaMask and Wallet Connect because I know a couple people, more than a couple people, have asked for Wallet Connect. So both of those will be implemented. Um, Wallet Connect implementation is one of the reasons it won't be ready for Friday because I kind of added that late. Um, but don't blame those people for delaying the drop a little bit. <laughs> That's just one of the reasons. Um, but we'll, both of those will be ready and then you'll be able to see it in OpenSea and all that fun stuff. All right, so I don't know if we want to jump into it now or a bit later, but from my understanding, you guys kind of have like a tentative drop planned. Has yes. that been so, confirmed? Yeah, so we, we confirmed it kind of right before this so we could drop the lore and all the fun stuff that leads up to it. Um, but the drop will be Monday the 26th, so not this Monday tomorrow, but next um, next Monday, or this Monday today, sorry. Uh, it will be next Monday the 26th. And it's 5 p.m. PDT, so West Coast USA, 5 p.m. time. Noted, noted. Uh, and is it going to be mobile comp compatible? We will be doing testing on mobile devices. Um, as Use your MetaMask browser. Uh, and obviously with Wallet Connect, they have some things. It's never, 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 no one ever recommends using mobile for these drops. It just doesn't always work um but i will be doing testing on mobile and i hope to make it available for mobile um i'm just always gonna say like default to desktop i can't guarantee anything on mobile but know that i am testing it awesome awesome and somebody was asking what does the vogu mean is that just a name you kind of created for this or does it actually have some kind of meaning no it was it jason had come up with it when he was drawing these originally he was just like he called them the vogu and when we had our first brainstorming session about what we should name this, neither of us could come up with a better name <laughs> than the Vogu. So we just, we ran with that. I also sent you, uh, just to give you a heads up if you hadn't seen it, I DM'd you in Discord. Um, I can do camera if you want to do oh, some camera. Oh, yo, for sure. For but but you want it, you want me to show off these leaks, eh? I also leaked stuff for you. Oh, so, okay. yeah. Is so this personal can do... or can I show it to the fans? Oh my both god. Of those, both of those you can show. And they're kind of traits we haven't shown before. They're not the again, these are not the top traits, but I think they're ones that people will get excited for to know that this is kind of what um medium 
Yo, banger, banger. Love Rare, it. We got a little bit yeah. of the Ethereum necklace. I think kind of like the Vogu guys, if you don't know. Sorry, I got two birds in the background, so apologies if you have any animals that are going crazy because of that one. Uh, the 100 on here. Now, question for you, because I know they're completely unrelated, and this has nothing to do with, like, the, the 100 Thieves organization, but <clears throat> every time I look at it, I feel like it gives me the 100 Thieves vibe, and it's kind of cool. Um, but the red and the aesthetics of all that look amazing. And then we have a second one on here uh, that we can show in this. This one has got a little bit of the bunny ears going on with the pink, and I think that one's also super cool. So how in the world do you guys come up with, like, the art style for all these different ones, and how do you make sure that, you know, there's ones that aren't kind of copying each other? Yeah, and those are our cat ears. The bunny ears are even bigger. So, um, yeah, 100 Thieves stuff is, is awesome. That would be that would be a really, really fun collab to kind of pull them into this world. That's kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, That's sure. the kind of stuff, right? Like, oh, that'd be cool. But, of course. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd love to... I mean, that's the kind of partnerships that I'm exploring. So, hey, yo, this guy's um, like, screw the big, we're going to hundred thieves and we're going home, baby. Love it. Oh, love it. Love I mean, it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that's the level that I'm, that I'm thinking. And that's the level I think that IP in the space should be thinking. Um, but no, it's, it's kind of personality. Like you think of why you like some of these and, and it's the personality that comes through. So we just looked at like, what are some things that are fun? What are some things that kind of have personality to it that the user, these are supposed to be the Vogu, the tar that you own, that you play around with. Um, and I think that that's like, yeah, let me, I'll, I'll turn my camera. Um, that's what we tried to convey. And I think, I think it's worked. There we go. I don't have to be so close now. All right, look, the man behind it all. Guys, can we get some W's up in the chat here for Traxy? The League of Legends myth as well hey, as the, Vok, or the, the Vogu legend as yeah, well. Dude, I, this is crazy. The iron, the iron God. I think I'm still right. <laughs> yeah, okay, so hold on. Let's break down the stuff behind you. Listen, I know we're talking Vogu, but what in the world is everything behind you right now? Oh, yeah. So this is, I have a giant white wall in my living room that looked worse. So I went and I hung up. So this is, I'm a nerd. So uh, Cowboy Bebop, obviously. Um, that's Philadelphia. I grew up outside Philadelphia. Picture from Italy that I took, Favignana. If anyone knows Italy, that's an island off the coast of Sicily. This is art from an artist. Um, she did music called Lights. I don't know if anyone knew Lights. That's one of her prints. And something from a local brewery. I had to clean up. Oh, and then my not porn. I, just I was, was everybody's cool. just loving that right now. It's <laughs> I know that was really good. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. I saw that piece. It was yeah. It was on one X run. If anyone likes kind of random small batch uh, art, one X run is a really good site for that. Okay, so I want to kind of talk about like Vogue from a couple different perspectives here, and I want to jump into the lore or anything that if you particularly want to discuss as we're chatting here, please speak up. Um, but I know that you're a gamer. Is something with these? Holy she snazzy with a ten gifted. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. Yeah, um, that's good snazzy. <laughs> Thank you. That's a let's wow. go yo yes, if you're yes, banger there <laughs> if you're a sub we can get the snazzy emotes flying up in there all right so let's go i know you're a gamer i'm a gamer too uh the vogus give me the not transformers vibe i don't want to say but like hell yeah this could end up kind of being in the game obviously there's a bunch of metaverse stuff where you guys could strictly just be like hey we're going to create lore we're going to do different nfts and create like a collection upon this and you said hey you know what we're looking for potentially bigger things out there but for you do you think that hey you know what like a, a game creation is something that could happen down the line is that something that you feel like you're actively pursuing or like completely you know left field um it, it would be more like uh I, I look at it like like marvel like the marvel universe and i mean they went and created their own game but it was better when they did a skin in fortnite than when they made their own game um that's kind of how i look at it like i don't know i think if you look at like a sandbox partnership idea um, and maybe telling some sort of story in an RPG element, you know, some way like that in Sandbox. And it's kind of small and contained, and I don't have to hire an entire game development company. Game development is really, really hard, and it takes forever. Uh, if anyone's kickstarted a game, it, they just don't come out. It takes forever. Um, so I don't know if I want to undertake that. It's not my wheelhouse. But if fortnite wants to do a, a collab and do a vogu skin i'm up for it I mean, yeah let's stuff, go you, dude you know let's do it <laughs> i love that so let's do, some, let's do some league skins some vogu 
that'll be a whole new league uh, line. Well, I mean, so every day that passes, it feels like this project is getting, you know, more and more hyped. And, and again, we kind of just like shot you a message and we connected. And then now we're playing league and I feel like we're friends. <laughs> it's it's kind of surreal in a way. Absolutely. But it also feels Absolutely. like you guys have blown up every single day with more people joining and joining and joining. For you, how does that feel? And uh, secondly, what do you think is the catalyst to, you know, getting so many eyes on you? Um, it's like, it's, I want to say like humbling. It's exciting. It's just, um, it's affirmation that you're doing things correctly or you, you hope it is. Um, I think that a lot of it, we experienced and everyone, a lot of people here, we've all been through like 30 drops and in the NFT space, it feels like 15 years of these projects. It's probably only been like a month. Um, like Board Ape Yacht Club, it was like, what, not even two months ago? Yeah, no, like exactly yeah, two right? months ago, I think. Yeah, because yeah. it was the 31st it, of April, yeah. I think. Yeah. Like it, yeah, it feels like it's been like three years since that happened, and it's only two months. But you learn so much from being a part of the space. And, and I tried to take what everyone was saying about what they liked or what they didn't like about all these projects, and I just... I used it. I said, what would I do in my own project? What would I do differently? And how could I apply it? And lucky for us, I think that just resonated. I think the people that are like, man, I wish a project would do X. I really like it when projects do Y. And we just, we did it and we executed on it. And I think that people like resonated with that. And then to partner that with Jason, who just has just unbelievable art, that made it a little easier. <laughs> Dude, it's it's so surreal, though, because it, it's something that, like, for you, kind of, in a way, like, the world's your oyster, and I think that a lot of people are going to end up wanting to collab with you, and I don't want you to, you know, necessarily speak about anything that's not set in stone, but for, like, collaborations and stuff that's upcoming, have you guys solidified anything? Are there bigger partners on the way? Do you, are you getting bigger and bigger people reaching out every day, or are you the one trying to reach out to these bigger players? Uh, both. Uh, it's been it's been really really great. I mean, I, it's, I'm on DMs and phone calls all day long. Uh, Glipsy, our community manager, has just been like a savior because I, I've been I've kind of been able to like let her run the community and sit in Discord while I handle my calls and I handle my DMs. Um, but it's 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 been both. It's been um, you know me DMing and sending emails saying hey. I really appreciate your project. I, you know, I'm a fan. Let me know if anything can get back to you. And then the same thing coming our way. Um, and partnerships have been kind of both ways. Um, and then like uh, thinking about like what I can say. So like there's really, really, really fun things in um, our, our head of partnerships that I hired is, is a good friend of mine who runs a um, production company in Italy. Uh, who focuses on the fashion industry and focuses on, um, you know, artists and entertainment and the things that we're beginning to already lock in um, and kind of bring the Vogue into a different, a different space. Um, like that stuff's already, already begun. So in terms of the lore, that's something you guys are focusing on. So would you like to talk a little bit about the lore of the Vogu? Yeah, I mean, like we just I, I think the if, if you like lore, um, you know, go through, read our lore, all the lore on our website and stuff, because I mean, it's a you read it the other uh, the other day. It's a wall of text. Um, it's 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 a lot. Um, I think what the community might want to know or I want I want to say to the community about the lore is that if you're interested in it and you like the idea of developing these stories, I think you'll love our project. Um, but I also want to have some collaboration between the community and us. We did that the other day in Discord where we had our council members develop Hunt their seven characters AR is very and help cute. develop he he the background behind um, the council itself. And as we look at like, you know, yeah, I want to do comics and graphic novels and animation and stuff. And as I start to develop those plots and we start to write those scripts, we then can go back to the community. And these are the things that I haven't hammered down, so I don't want to announce it officially. But this is where we go back to the community and say, hey, we're doing a bank robbery story or something. Who wants to be the teller at the bank? 
and we could maybe use their Vogu and do some licensing deal with them and, and come up with something that makes sense. Uh, it could be like, hey, community, uh, we're thinking about doing an animated uh, short about a hijacking. What are your thoughts? Who should be the good guy? Who should be the bad guy? What's the product they're hijacking? Why is there, you know, what's the motive here? Like, those are the kind of things that I want to bring back to the community because that's friggin' cool. <laughs> I can I could come up with this and hire writers to come up with it myself, but part of the benefit of owning a Vogu and being a part of our community is that you're involved. That's that's the fun part of these NFT communities is is that immersion and that that kind of community back and forth with the creators and I want to keep that going. I think it's interesting that you're wanting to bring in people with that. And so for that process, are you going to go potentially through like a voting thing or are you just going to hand select one? Because I, I think like there's two sides of the story here where I think where when you're looking at Punk's comic, they did something with the Bored Apes when they did the collab and said, hey, for Bored Apes, you have to have a Punk's comic and then you have to have a Bored Ape and then yeah. you had to submit a story. And I was lucky enough to uh, make like the the final eight that ended up yeah, are, are, are supposed to be in the comic. And shout out to everyone uh, that voted for that one. Thank you guys so much. Um, but for it in the same token, you know, like there was a part of me that was like, crap, like if I don't make this, I feel like in a way... I'm going to be kind of annoyed almost at like, hey, damn it, like I almost had that opportunity to get there. So is it better to have that community involvement or for you just to say, okay, people, who's interested? And then you kind of pick one instead of having the community vote over it. Yeah, it's, you know, and that that's the thing we have to approach for um, when we get there. Um, I, I think it's a great idea to have the community involved. Um, but you're right, like the voting aspect of it, and everyone's disappointed when they don't win. Um, we could look at raffles. We could look at the the same thing that they did. Um, I usually like the randomized like raffle chances and stuff. Um, we did the meme contest, and and it's just when you do contests like that, it's unbelievably fun. Like it's super exciting. The meme contest. If anyone didn't check it out, please go check it out on our Discord because people slayed it. It was so funny. We were we were dying laughing, reading it together. Um, but you know, people are disappointed and it's hard. You'll have 10 things that you really like and you have to pick one. Um, so the randomizations and stuff and, and giving it to the community to vote is kind of like an easy way to push it off on somebody else. But, um, I'm looking at all those avenues. I'm open for all of them. Like we're just going to have fun with it. Tracks, so you're right here, and somehow 10 Gifted just went through. I don't know if that was you on your end or somebody else doing it, but sheesh, dude. Thank you so much, guys. In the chat, fired up with the W. So, uh, on the site, uh, sorry, I'm not going to be able to screen share it to you. I don't know if you have the stream up, but like when somebody joins the website, when you scroll down, you have the core, uh, the Kuwait, uh, mm -hmm. Centurion, Ongo, uh, Patricians. Can you just break that down a little bit for anyone that's not familiar with what these are supposed to be? Yeah, so, and that'll kind of lead into the lore that we announced today, too. Part of when we were building this was to come up with a, like, a, a, a goal, a model for our artistic direction. Like, something that we could follow to get started. Because sometimes, part, the hardest part of the creation process for these sometimes is just the start. Where do I begin? Once you begin, it starts rolling, and it's super, super easy. And... We said, okay, if we're a collection, if we're if we sell these tar, we would have model lines, right? So we decided let's develop model lines and then we'll get fun from there. So these model lines are the artistic direction of the project. And and that's how we got started. The lore came from that because it's it, you think of all these projects, um, and they're always randomized. You always have these attributes that are just completely randomized. But you're like, why? Why did I get all these random attributes? And if this, if the Vogu Collective has model lines, then why aren't you just buying the model line you like? Why did that happen that I get a randomized one? So we had to come up with a story and lore behind it. And we have a, a community member called Zion Bugle, who is a news reporter in our IP. He's like one of the most famous news reporters in the universe, in the Vogu universe. And he drops little hints and some lore that we can follow along with. And the lore behind why you get a randomized tar when you buy it next Monday is that the Vogu Collective is currently being attacked by another big corporation. There's kind of this shadow war going on. And they got hacked. And during the hack, they took over some of their, uh, their manufacturing facilities. 
So the robots that normally, these TARs that would normally be built to the model lines just got jumbled up with parts. And so now they're left with these 7,777 just jumbled up TARs that don't fit any of their model lines. And they're deciding what should we do with it? And they eventually will come to, uh, Zion will come up with the news announcement in the next few days where it says that the Vogue Collective has decided to sell these kind of hacked ones that have just been pieced together and they're going to sell them at a discount so anyone can get them and that's the that's the lore behind it but everything's kind of directed from the the art direction of these model lines all right so for the core do you think you're better than everyone else do you want the world to know try the core collection uh, kuwait do you use fashion labels as a substitute for a personality have you ever missed an important occasion to wait in line for an nft wearable are you in line Oh, right now, just to, you know, 100 Thieves Gucci <laughs> cough, uh, try the Kuwait collection and Centurion providing protection for VIPs. Are you tough, sexy, dripping with class? Or maybe you just want people to think you are. Either way, try the Centurion collection. On go, do you often conflate one's taste in art and pop culture with personal worth? Do you have lots of opinions and ideas that you like to share uh, loudly? Try the Ongo collection and then the Patricians. You cannot afford this. So these, okay. So first of all, after reading this, I'm like, okay, I need to like look at this after stream, kind of see, you know what, which one I feel that I would kind of fall into. So for these ones, part of me thinks... You know, like, I want to get, like, a specific one for that, but these are all random mints, or are you going to be able to kind of pick one that falls under certain categories, or are, theoretically, all of these completely irrelevant, and you're going to be able to pick, like, what your Vogu is down the line? No, so it's it's going to be completely random, which I think is going to add some of the secondary market fun to it, because, and, and I'll look at it, like, we'll know what's going to be rare because we run the randomization script and we upload all 7,777. So I'll know if how close something got to being a complete patrician or something. So, and I think that's going to be a subtle flex. Like, I think, you know, Schiller's going to be like, I have a four trait patrician. Like I, how special am I? Um, and I think it'll be cool. People who really like centurions will be hunting to find the high trait centurions. Um, there may be, we may get lucky and there's going to be one or two that like are almost 90% just core traits or 90% Centurion traits. I'm really excited to see that. I don't want to force that. I don't want it to be artificial. Um, so, but we'll see where it goes. We'll see what the randomization happens. It'll be fun. I love the aspect of kind of like a, a system within a system of breaking these things down. It, it's exciting. And I think that you're absolutely right in terms of kind of like the secondary making it uh, kind of fun. So after the drop happens, we've noticed with a lot of projects uh, where the drop happens and then it's the absolute talk of the town for like the you know next couple of hours or the next day. Do you, <laughs> do you have anything planned for it to kind of sustain hype for, you know, more than just the drop right away? Or is it the drop's going to happen then you guys get right to work for some of the other things yeah and it's um it's i mean we're never gonna stop working um you know I, like i'm already beginning to work to lay out those plans um my goal is and the reason we've started so early is i'm trying my hardest to to lock down those partnerships that i can't talk about so that as the weeks go by because like you said i mean two days later there's another drop and something else is more popular uh, and that's that's why you'll see these projects drop a metaverse a asset a week or two later. They 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 have to kind of keep dropping things to keep you guys interested and keep you focused. So I need to, and I'm planning to. What can I do quickly? What can we do within the one to three weeks? But I'm more focused on. What bigger project can I drop in the three to five weeks? Like, can I drop a, a banger in three weeks? And I think the community will respect and appreciate when we drop the triple double bangers more so when we kind of tube feed them little things um, into metaverses and stuff. I plan to do both, but I'm, I'm hoping that the community res responds to some of the bigger things. I mean, look at Board Ape Yacht Club, right? They don't. They didn't do anything for a while, and then bam, Kennel Club. And I think the community respects that. 
And uh, for you, how uh, much sleep do you think you're going to get uh, the night before the launch? None. I mean, that's what these guys are for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those people in the chat earlier saying, you know, you got to quit the monster habit. But like on a completely like, side note, is monster your go to drink? Right. I'm I'm on a Fruitopia kick. I like iced tea for whatever reason. I hate that fizzy stuff. But you're all about the energy drinks, eh? Yeah, that's that's when I was in film, uh, you work at least a 12 hour day on set and it's it's draining. Um so those those got me through film, and I've been addicted ever since. Uh, I do I have a boba tea place called Ding Tea, pretty close to my uh, to my uh, my apartment. And like, I think the the Ding Tea, uh, shout out to Dingling, who <laughs> in my lore owns Ding Tea, uh, and Monster are gonna get me through the next two three weeks. I think. Love but it. I hydrate. I definitely drink enough water. Love it, love it. Sure so uh, with the NFT scene kind of taking off right now in general, there's a lot of opportunities for people to kind of get in in certain places and also, you know, have careers out of it. For you, uh, have you hired anybody recently for the team? Are you in talks with doing that? Like, how big do you think the Vogu team's going to be? Yeah, um, so it's... It's uh, you know, full time community manager is a, is a must. You know, Glipsy is going to transition to that. Um, I mean, she pretty much already is. Uh, I have kind of like a Discord admin uh, that's like a part time to just kind of manage the Discord in terms of like roles and things. I have um, a dev that isn't a smart contract dev, he's just a general dev, and he's kind of like the Swiss Army knife that can build Discord bots, fix the website if needed. Uh, help out on some of the tech stuff that I may not be um, all up to speed on. And then uh, the partnership, my, my, my partnership, um, head of partnerships uh, guy. So th that's the big ones. Everyone else will be, you know, contracted for each, uh, each project. If we do a fashion project, there'll be some contracting and license, you know, licensing stuff. If we do uh, music stuff, um, I'd love to announce it, but like we just have some really, really exciting um, stuff on the music side of things, uh, and and we're gonna come up with some sort of what that looks like. And until the lawyers approve it and we get the paperwork and all that kind of stuff, I won't announce it. But I'm really, really excited for that. Um, another really good artist and a, a friend of the space and, and a friend of mine. So that'll be exciting. But yeah, not, nothing too crazy. You know, I'm not going to hire like 20 people tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but, fair, enough, but, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, okay. So for anyone that's just tuning in right now, uh, we did have the drop date announced. Uh, Traxy, can you just give us a little bit of a breakdown about the price, when the drop's happening, and anything people need to know, whether it's mobile compatible, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah. So the drop will happen on our website. It will be Monday the 26th at 5 p.m. PDT, 7,777 is the total mint the price will be 0 0.077 ethereum we are going to try our damnedest to test and make sure that there's some sort of mobile um compatibility or at least that it doesn't just break everything uh we won't a lot of teams do this we won't be holding um a lot of teams will, will pre-mint like 100 or 200 um some of the highest has been like 600 that they've reserved for a team we're only going to reserve 77. So that's that's all we're going to be reserving for team member payments and such. And that should cover most of it. Love it, love it. Now, is there any other info that you think people should know uh, regarding the Vogu or anything in general? Maybe a shout out that you have for uh, your community, which they, they're here in Ramparts. I was like, man, I, no, we, we've had projects come through, but like they, 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 they're, they're, there's other projects and then there's the Vogu. And the Vogu <laughs> Collective is pretty insane right now. We do it different. Yeah, no, our community is just unbelievable. I, I think before this all started, we had a discord of... of 30 that grew to about 70 people before it was public and that was crazy to me that, that 70 people were interested in what we were building to have the i think we're up to like 3,000 almost now on discord and twitter it's it's thank you it's just unbelievable um and the fact that 99.9 .9 percent of everybody has been positive and supportive um and even when when people have been critical, you know, it's it's constructive is just it's awesome. And I want to keep it going. And I, I hope that we can deliver everything to the community. 
I think the artists that we have on board, uh, please go check out the Creators Corner on our Discord. Go check out our Twitter to see the artists that we're collabing with because it's just every one of them is so talented in their own right. And they're all so different from each other that even if you're not a big fan of one of them, I guarantee you're going to like another. So like, please check them out. And, and thank you to everyone who's collaborated so far. Um, the team has just been incredible. So I got one tough question here. And, and guys, if there's anything in the chat, feel free. Uh, if you're wanting to ask some questions, we can take them now because we're kind of just vibing out uh, towards yeah. the end here because that was that was really insightful. Thanks so much for doing this, Traxy. Um, is somebody brought up the question about like gas wars. And for me, when I first heard about this, I was like, yeah, I don't want this looks pretty good. I'm going to I'm going to pick up a couple. And I didn't really have a fear of the gas wars. I, I have the gas wars fear now. 100 percent. Call, call me a speculator. Call me uh, hooked. Call me whatever you would like. <laughs> uh, but do you know if there's anything that you guys are kind of planning? to try to help with that i'm terrified i'm terrified because again i'm not pre-minting any for myself so i'm i'm minting with you guys so i i'm a customer i'm a i'm a community member on launch day and ah uh, i'm terrified from a from a from a minting standpoint for myself and just from a project standpoint because i don't i don't want any of my community to to feel to be upset and to miss out i want everyone involved i mean that's this is why it's fun and it's there's so much that we can do. There's only so much that we can do as a project. Um, we anticipate dropping a link in Discord five minutes before the announced time. So if you're a member of our Discord and um, you know an active, and you get you know join or I say active member, but you don't have to be active to get the link. Just pay attention. But um, you should be active. <clears throat> what? Please do. Please do. Yeah, it's like I can't force you know. But hey, listen, like. A lot of people are introverts and they don't need to sit in Discord and talk all the time. Some people like to just be a part of the community and see it. They don't need to interact and that's perfectly fine. Uh, welcome that as well. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna try to do that. Like, I I'm nervous that we're gonna drop the link in Discord and it's just gonna be boom, Gas War starts it immediately. So I'm, I'm just nervous. Um, there's only so much you can do as a project. The way that you write the contract can help. Um, there's some bloated contracts. There's some, the, the more complicated it is, the, the more it may be to interact with the contract, but we're doing a pretty basic one. So there's really, we won't have issues with that. Um, if, if the price of gas is really, really high as we're getting into the sale and we look at it and it's just going up, I have no problem delaying it a day. Um, I want to get this out. I, I want to just drop this so that we can all just start talking at it. And there's just so much that I'm hiding in terms of the assets and the traits that they're going to have. Like, I want them to be out. I want everyone to start talking about it. That stuff excites me. But I, I won't, like, I'm not going to sail into a really, really strong headwind. I don't want to just drop when gas is already high. So we'll absolutely listen to the community and, and delay the, the drop. Um, I think I'm that's super interesting. That. Yeah, yeah, I think that's super interesting just in terms of like we've seen uh, different projects and I think you guys are doing a very fantastic job and huge props to you regarding like the communication and saying like, hey, like we're potentially looking at this. So if you're planning to mint because somebody said that, well, that's like 2 a.m. my time that there is a possibility that potentially that gets moved because, you know, every week we there's new announcements that pop up here and there. And somebody mentioned a second ago uh, that the initial uh, launch date was supposed to be the week of the 19th, which is right now, but we're saying Monday. Uh, well, it's not yep. that big of kind of like an extension was there a reason behind moving it to yeah. monday yeah so our, our original goal was was friday this week um that's why we said week of because i knew that i had to have a meeting today with my developers um to make sure that we felt confident that we could hit friday um in most likely the contract will be good and ready to go by thursday to push to mainnet the problem is that only gives us maybe a 12 to 24 hour period between pushing the contract live and release. So if any issues were to come up, we have maybe 12 hours to do anything, to fix. And I didn't want with the hype that we had to only have a 12 hour window to finish our testing and our QA. So I made the call, the team said that they could probably do it, everything would be fine. I made the call to give us the weekend, make sure it's okay, and just feel comfortable going so that that's why we ended up pushing back and i know the time's not perfect for everyone we looked at the you know a global release it's always going to be 2 a.m somewhere um so we picked a time where gas is historically low 
and that um, our devs are based in Thailand. So I had to pick a time that they could be available in case any issues arose. And, and that's where we came up with this window. And, and that's why we went with Monday. Uh, Traxy, I'm super excited for this. I think I think it's a banger. It's a cool idea. It's something unique and different. And I just like, oh my god, I'm super super excited. Uh, and if you're able to go over the drop times one more time, because we got a few people asking, just once again. Yeah, Monday the 26th at 5 p.m. PDT, which is Tuesday at midnight UTC. Love it. So Love kind of from that. the UK to um, you know Finland. It's like midnight to 3 a.m. I love it. All right, guys, if you're not following the Vogu, uh, be sure to do so uh, in the chat right there. Traxy, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. I hope we can chat with you a, a little bit later, maybe playing some League or whatever yeah, else. Yeah, some League, absolutely. Uh, uh, but this has been really good. And, guys, we're going to cover the drop, as we pretty much always do, uh, with some of these bigger ones and uh, excited to see what happens in Traxy. Thanks so much for coming on, boss. I think we lost them. I think we lost them. I'm back. Oh, yeah, never mind. You're back. Yeah, I think my, my wife might cut. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. I was just saying thanks so much for uh, coming on, and I'm excited to uh, cover the drop and all that kind of stuff. Guys, can we get some Ws Absolutely. in the chat for Thank Mr. Uh, Traxy here? Thank you, chat. Thanks for coming through, Vogu fam. That was awesome. Let's it keep it going. A hell of a W. All right, dude. We'll talk super soon. All right, ciao. See you. Peace, peace. All right, there's Traxy, the man, the myth, the legend. Holy sheesh.